Whatever I was descending into, it was a hundred feet below ground, protected by two solid metal hatches located in a remote arctic wilderness and buried beneath the snow. I didn't know what to expect, but it made me feel something I hadn't felt since I was a child. I'd never get. I'd never given it much thought before, but I realized that our entire society is a network of safety nets, emergency services at the end of a phone line, health and safety in the workplace, friends, family, lovers. Ooh, saucy. All there if something goes wrong. Part of a carefully designed structure to prevent all but the most mun mundane of emotions. Once again, I felt like I did. Uh, once again, I felt like I did when I was in school surrounded by a closing ring of older kids. This is more Australian than English, but whatever. Knowing anyone that might help me. Friends, parents, teachers were too scared or too far away. Hey, I'm cool. This is Meeks. He's got knives for hands. About to jump on that spaceship there. You want to come? The hell? I'm trapped. Oh. Okay. There could be anything living down here. Heroics are for Hollywood actors and fairy tales. I'm not taking any chances. If I face off against anything down here, I won't last a second. Caution and stealth are my only defenses now. Logically, why would there be anything down here? Like, there shouldn't be, logically. There's, of course, going to be. But logically, it doesn't make sense. <sighs> if anyone or anything hears me, I'd be best off staying low and out of sight until I know whether or not it's a threat. Crouching and pressing left control will give me- I love how he says the buttons- will give me the chance to hide in the shadows. I know I've got it right because of the blue tint to my vision. What? Oh, I'll know I've got it right because of the blue tint to my vision. Plus, I should be quiet enough that I won't be heard unless something's right on top of me. Better sh better remember to shut off any light sources though. Okay, so I gotta go in the pitch black. Okay, I'm hiding. Like that, I'll be virtually invisible, and after some time I should get my night vision back, provided I stay still. Can I move now? There's like no threat as far as I can see. Like I'm a little shook there's something down here, but I don't see anything. I hope you guys can see this, it's actually hella dark. I might brighten this with like an effect in Premiere Pro just so you guys can see what's going on because I barely can. Maximum spook. Can I can I save? Yeah, that's better. Now there's a cross here. There's a lot of pathways down here. Jeez. <laughs> hmm. Paraffin lamps. Look, they're still. So Ooh, yeah. Let's go. Can I take it? Can I not take it? I guess there's nothing to light it with. What does that say? Workshop. Is that a thing? No, it's a sign. I feel like this game is messing with my head right now. I can barely see anything right now. Like, I know I turned the gamma how I'm supposed to. 
but I could literally walk right on top of a monster and I wouldn't even know. That doesn't even help a whole lot. <laughs> like it does a little bit, but not much. Office. Yeet. Yeet! Okay, progress. I can't remember how long this episode is. I'll probably stop after the next save if there is one. Officer's log. Uh, another unremarkable week in Greenland. Regular supply ship blah, blah, blah. There was one wounded figure with no cause for concern back in London. What? Uh, the one wounded figure. Oh, this one wounded guy. Okay, I see. The Germans haven't extended their front. Ooh, it's war stuff. Two of my men were caught manufacturing cherry bombs in our workshop and succeeded in blowing off a couple of fingers. Nice. I take partial responsibility for this and I allow them to access the demolitions manual we keep in the storage room. And I'm sure that's what they where they learned the ingredients. As a precautionary measure, we have now locked up the manual in, it, in the chest of my office. Okay, cool. We might get some bombs. Needless to say, both men have been disciplined. Well, they lost fingers, so... And the injured man has been sent home for medical care. I cannot help but think that a more suitable punishment would have been for him to stay out here, but the matter is out of my hands. The base is so disconnected sometimes, I feel as if the war could end and we might not even hear about it. Yeah, you might not. Supplies, requisition order, uh, dynamite, bayonets, industrial ice pick, reading glasses. Well, maybe I'll find some goodies. Reconditioning of the mine continues to progress. The structure is being fortified for potential bomb, from potential bomb damage, and excavation previ uh, previously kidding areas is going on ahead. One point of curious or curiosity is some kind of archaeological find, an artifact buried in the earth, ooh, and discovered by one of the teams. Later this evening, after martial duty, I shall take a closer look at the artifact. They spelled artifact wrong. It appears to be man-made and may have working parts inside. I can't remove what looks like the front cover. And I, or I shall remove what looks like the front cover, and I can't see if, and see if I can't discover the source of light which constantly emanates from it. Backstrin. Is that like a heel? I don't know what Backstrin is. This game seems very like it was English made because Backstrin sounds like a chemical that English people would use. Ooh. Oh, more reading, God damn it. So, as, as somebody who's recording, I don't want to read, but as somebody watching, like, watching playthroughs, I hate it when people don't read, so I guess I'm gonna read. Because it's for you guys. I'm doing it for you. Uh, the university, which has recently been conducting... Uh, chemicals naturally sewn into the rock might be the cause of the high suicide rates at a Greenland mine. Ghosty boys. The university, which has recently been conducting studies into isolated communities, first became interested in the workers of the Northwestern lead mine, a lead mine, last year. They discovered that even taking into account Greenland's higher, naturally higher suicide rate, really? Local figures for the last 100 years were abnormally high at, why do they keep saying figures? Nobody says figures. Oh, I see what they mean. But they like in the they used figure to describe like a guy before, so maybe it's just like British English or something. I have no idea. Uh, at 46 deaths per 100,000 uh, populace compared to the national average of 29, so almost double. Not almost double, but significantly more. Um. On further investigation, experts were diagnosed, and many of the miners' symptoms were common in earlier stages of schizophrenia. Okay. Uh, this has prompted researchers to hypothesize the natural deposits of lysergic acid, a pH 4 formula. That means it's acidic, I think? I can't remember. Recently discovered to have hallucinogenic properties, maybe present in the rocks. So they're, they're booling out, getting super high. Few locals were conductive to inter conducive to interview. Why me? Huh. But those who agreed to speak had their own explanation. 
Invit spirits known as the Turngate live in the mountains. The university is awaiting results of chemical testing. Studies continue. Okay, so... Turngate. The Turngate are some nasty boys. Oh. A man, an old man, clutching something unseen. He is strange, and yet he is no stranger. Never before, never seen before, still I know, this man before me is Howard. I call him Father. What the hell? Ugh, what the hell? No, I don't know how to- I sound like Stewie now. What just happened? I don't know if that was such a good idea. It was plot development. You know it was a good idea. Oh shit. I may never get used to that. It played the spooky whisper noises. Fairly basic work desk. British platoon dating back to World War II. Yeah, this... Okay. Was there any... Yeah. Ooh. I have discovered my jump button. Light! I miss being outside already. This place is starting to get to me, yeah? Me too. But even if I could reach that crate, it looks built into the rock itself. No way it's coming loose. You'd figure something out. Oh. I have a key. I I have a key. I just picked one up. Yes, okay, thank you. Yeet. What's in here? Big book of explosives. Let's go. Uh, string, gunpowder, backstring. Backstring's an explosive. Uh, dynamite. Diat. Diatomus. Diatomaceous earth. Nitroglycerin and some sodium carbonate. Okay, I didn't bother to read that because it looks like it's just instruction manuals and I don't know how interesting that is because I didn't I mean it like it gave me the oop come here painkillers ooh okay oh what's that Beef jerky! Let's go! More beef jerky? Beef jerky! Don't know if I actually want to eat that because it's been here since World War II. That's the year 2000. So it's been here for 50 years. <laughs> So it's a World War One typewriter. Batteries. Thank God. Hell yeah. Let's go. Why can't it just open the door normally? Why does it have to load every time I open a damn door? Up. Yeah, there's a dog. Ah. Okay. Okay. If anything gets more than a, f I better not stare it out. Okay, so if something comes near you, don't look at it.
Okay, so there's a dog. Um, what should we do about that, do you think? I would assume my goal is going to be to get to the... Oh! Can I give him the jerky? Is that what the jerky's for? Oh no, he's gonna chase me because of the jerky, isn't he? Okay. If he chases me, I'll, I'll whip out the beef jerky, but for now we're going... Stop! Hammer time! Dog. Oh, Jesus. It's right there. Okay. We're hiding behind this post. Until he comes back, then we're gonna go to the barrels. Honestly, it's just a dog. It's not that scary, but like, I still rather not die. If you feel me. Plus, he has night vision, so I can imagine that. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm used to running from stuff in Soma, so. Okay, so the dog's patrolling, I guess, because. Yeah, he's coming back. What's up, my boy? Shit. 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 Shit, 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 shit. Shit. Oh, he's a zombie dog. If I pull the jerky, is he straight up just gonna attack me? Nah, I shouldn't move yet. He's still, like, right there. You're not as cute as my dog. My dog is cuter. Okay, so my guess is what's gonna happen is the dog's gonna like jump me and I'm gonna have to whip out the the jerky and then run. Because otherwise I don't think they would have given me the beef jerky. Okay, so I like the mechanic where if I if I slow down and just like chill for a sec, I can like see more. Can I not go in there? Um, oh. Okay, I heard him. This looks like a door that I should be able to enter, but for some reason I can't. Like, tell me that doesn't look like a door. Okay, so the dog's over there. Where am I? Why can't I open that? Oh, because I have to... 
It's cause... It's locked? Hell do you mean it's locked? Damn. Do I still have the key? Or did I leave it in the chest? Alright. We're moving. That's a storage room. I don't think I can fit through that. Workshop is that way. So I need to find a key to get into it. Is that what's going on? That's the office, which means the dog is probably around here somewhere. I'll, uh, I'll come back when I know where I'm going. Okay, I think I found a place to go that might have the key. Yeah, storage room. Fred of the damn dog doesn't show up. I don't think he can in here though. All right, I think we're safe. I think we're all right. Assuming he doesn't know how to open doors. What's up? Ooh. Spiders equals unhappy. Lighting the fuel on fire equals happy. Getting shot equals unhappy. I don't know what that is. But yeah, getting shot would make me pretty unhappy too. Old paint can't- why do you need paint? Okay, just in case gonna equip the lighter to number three. Oh, the flashlight battery's already, like, dead. It's okay, this gives off more light anyway. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So, for that, I just would click it somewhere. Spiders equals unhappy. Are you little spidery bitches? Come here. I can light those. I'm not sure I want to. I don't know what those are. Are those like giant ass spider eggs or something? Oh, 
Oh, there's a draft coming from the base, is there? Okay, I think what's gonna happen is some spider some spider men. That's locked, that's fine. I don't really want to have to go that way anyway. I don't want to light those on fire if I don't have to, you know? Like... I can, though, so... Aha! Oh yeah, let's go. And batteries. Hell yeah. Do these things save? Okay, give me a sec. I'm gonna find out if those things save. Okay, so it looks like those things do save. Um. And seeing as I don't know when the next one is gonna be, I I think we'll wrap it up there. Um, I was gonna say as always, but this is the first time I've ever had to do this. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the first part of the uh, Penumbra series. I'll definitely be coming back to this because my computer seems to be handling it no problem. Um, hope you enjoyed. Le uh, I don't want to. I don't want to be one of those YouTubers. You know what I'm talking about. But uh, leave a comment, uh, subscribe if you enjoyed. If you're coming from another channel, you know, subscribe and uh, you know, leave a like. All that good stuff.